Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Hi, everybody. This is Bruce DePriest in the Channel 3 Early Warning Forecast Center with a, uh, an update for you. Of course, you all know that this uh, July has been extremely wet. Well, you know, it's uh, one of the wet wettest on record, at least in the top 10. These are towns that have reported rainfall totals from the beginning of the month, and here we are. Uh, not even two weeks into uh, July, Tallinn 14.2, Staffordville about 11 and a quarter, Ellington not far behind, Wethersfield just under 10 inches, Hampton 8.45, and Bridgeport 7.7 inches of rain month to date. And for uh, Windsor Locks representing the Hartford area, 7.68 inches of rain during July so far. That makes it the sixth war of wettest July on record and records go back to 1905. And with a lot of days left in the month, we are likely going to go up in the ranks. Of course, the wettest July on record was in 1938, when there was 11.24 inches of rain for the greater Hartford area. Looking at Tuesday, well, there's gonna be a lot of clouds and uh, not a lot of rain. There might be a light rain shower, some sprinkles or some drizzle from time to time, but despite the clouds, we're not gonna see much rain, which is good news after the uh, drenching. So we are going to see uh, basically, as we go into the uh, day on Tuesday, uh, some uh, scattered showers, as you saw, uh, looking at the wider view there. So not much rain, but perhaps a better chance for some rain on Wednesday. So as we go through the night, uh, showers, maybe a thunderstorm, temperatures in the 60s, and for tomorrow, uh, for your Tuesday, highs in the 70s, a lot cooler than normal, but it is gonna be damp and muggy. Uh, the cloud cover and the maritime flow will hold the temperature down. So looking at the seven day forecast, well, we're gonna get back on track uh, Wednesday, 83 for a high. That's sort of the transition day. Then Thursday and Friday, we'll be feeling some heat, humidity too, 91 Thursday, 93 on Friday. There is a maybe a slight chance for a thunderstorm late Friday, but perhaps a better chance for some showers and thunder at some point over the upcoming weekend, which is not good timing. We don't expect a washout, but we certainly don't want any rain on the weekend for the shoreline 75, but it's gonna be warmer for the rest of the seven day forecast.